Hello, I'm Damian Mitchell. There is renewed worry in Jamaica after three Caribbean countries reported their first cases of the coronavirus, which has killed thousands and infected thousands more in China. Florida has also reported its first two cases. It's been slow going in the Clarendon Southeastern by-election as voters cast their ballots for a new member of parliament. At 11 o'clock today, just about 3,339 voters, or 8.08% of the electorate, turned up to vote for either the JLP's Colonel Charles Jr. or independent candidate Derek Lambert. A 76-year-old St. Elizabeth man remains in police custody in connection with the murder of his 65-year-old common-law wife in Exton District near Junction St. Elizabeth on Saturday evening. Patsy Davidson was found with her throat slashed hours after a reported physical altercation with her ex-lover. Jamaica's Attorney General Marlene Malahu Fort is supporting calls for a more transparent sex offenders registry. The registry is currently restricted, but Rosalie Gage Gray, the Chief Executive Officer of the Child Protection and Family Services Agency, says it should be open to public scrutiny. In sports, the Sports Ministry has announced that over the next 18 weeks, it will be providing $20,000 a week for Olympic and Paralympic athletes qualifying for the 2020 Games. The ministry is paying out $50 to $70 million through this assistance program. In your currency trading today, one U.S. dollar was being sold for $137.78, the British pound sterling for $178.63, and the Canadian dollar for $103.50. In your weather forecast, on Tuesday morning, there will be party cloudy skies across eastern parishes. In the afternoon, there will be isolated showers across hilly areas. And that's it for the Gleaner Minute. I'm Damian Mitchell.